Hi and welcome to Test University. In this video I'll be covering setting up the Jabber client Pigeon. There are other Jabber clients available and what you end up picking is your own personal preference. Before we begin setting up the Jabber client we need to make sure Auth has your Jabber account configured. Log into Auth and under the Services tab there is an option for Jabber. If it's not listed, click on Add Services and select it from the drop-down. Note the username as we'll be using this information later. Pigeon is an open source cross-platform chat client. The client can be downloaded from www.pigeon.im slash download. Select the version for your operating system and download it. After it's finished downloading, you'll want to install it. Once the client is installed, the next step is going to be to add an account. This is done from the main window under the Accounts menu. Select Manage Accounts, click the Add button, and in the drop-down, select the protocol XMPP, which is the technical name for Jabber. Your username is what is listed in Auth before the Add symbol. Domain is the portion after the Add symbol. Resource is useful if you want to use Jabber on more than one device. For example, I have this one named Home. Password is your external services password, which is the third icon in underneath your portrait in off. Click save to go back to accounts window. You can now click on the enable checkbox and it will connect to the test Jabber. If it asks you about a certificate, click accept. When you are connected to Jabber, you will automatically receive broadcasts, also known as pings or announcements. This is the main mechanism through which fleets and other events will be advertised to the Alliance. Jabber also lets you chat in rooms or direct message with individuals. If I want to add a chat room manually, I can go to the Buddies menu on the main window, click Add Chat. In the room name, enter DD Reddit. This is the name of our help chat channel. The server is chat.pleaseignore.com. The handle is the name you will appear as when you enter the chat. It's recommended that you use the same name for your main character. Click Auto Join when the account connects to auto join this chat when you fire up Pigeon. Another way to find chat rooms is under the Buddies menu and join a chat. At the bottom of that window is a room list button. Click on it and enter the conference chat.pleaseignore.com. Then click Find Rooms. Some of the rooms are public and some are not. I'd recommend at least being in DD Reddit and your Corp channel. For banter, General is the catch-all channel most of the Alliance sits in. You can also add friends in Jabber to make it easy to direct message them. To do that, you'll need to find their Jabber ID which can be found by right-clicking the name of someone in the room list and selecting Info. You can then add them to your list by going to the Buddies menu and add Buddy. The username is going to be the full string, in this case, skierx at pleaseignore.com. Alias can be customized so you remember who that person is. Here's a few tips for the quality of life of using Jabber. In the main window under the Tools menu, select Preferences. Under Tabs, I'd switch this to left or right. The default is to put them on the top, but this gets crowded very quickly once you start joining a few rooms. Another thing that gets annoying quickly is the messages when people join or leave a room. You can disable these in the Tools menu under the Plugins. Enable the Join Page Hiding plugin. The last step I'm going to cover is installing the Emoticon Pack. This is entirely optional, but it can be fun. In many of the chat channels, you'll see words that start and end with a colon. If you have the emoticons installed, these will show up as images. The emote pack can be downloaded from github.com slash barrack barracks complete pigeon. Click the download zip file to download it and then extract it. You'll need to move this folder to app data purple smileys. Once installed there, you can enable in the tools menu, go to preferences, then themes, the emo pack should then show up under the smileys theme. There's a lot more to Jabber, but the basics covered in this video should get you up to speed enough to start going on fleets, asking questions, and exploring the social side of test. Thanks for watching and happy chatting.